Hi guys. Hello guys. Good afternoon. Today is November 17, 2020. So a new video today. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk to you about shifting your mindset from the different levels of employment. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, today, we're not going to sit down here. We're going to do a bit of walking. So we're going to show you the mindset. Some of you have seen it. Some of you have not seen it. But let's recall back again. So let's go for a walk. Come. You're going to be uh, our board. Uh, our cute little board here. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to talk about the quadrant. Okay. This quadrant is been done by uh, Robert Kiyosaki. And um, it was a very uh, good business tool or idea that you can apply into your business. So you understand how you shift your mindset from a employee. Okay. I put it big here because you want to see it. So from an employee to self-employed to a businessman and to an investor. Okay. Now you have to understand that 95% not so clear. 95% of the population is in this quadrant on the left whereas the 5% are in this quadrant but also 5% of the total income in the world is earned by this quadrant on the left and 95% of income worldwide is owned by the right quadrant so my wife is going to talk to you about the employee mindset then later we'll go to the self-employed business and also the investors so i'll pass it to my wife yeah stay tuned the challenge is if you are transitioning from one segment to the other we all at some point of time will start off as an employee maybe to a small percentage people jump straight to being self-employed to be their own boss like maybe they have some online business or they're selling something their own products okay but most of us are working under someone if at some point of time you feel like you want to venture out or you feel like you want to start your own business and you have the capability and potential to do so it is very important to change your mindset from employee mindset to self-employed okay employee mindset is very used to taking orders and completing tasks you know completing tasks according to deadlines so what people mostly face here, the common things that they'll say is, I'm not good at selling or I'm not good at business. Okay. But you have to remember that you cannot say you're bad at something before even trying. Okay. So number one is mindset. Mindset. Okay. Don't look at what you're not good at. Instead, keep an open mind of opportunities tell yourself okay maybe this will work for me let me give it a try most of the time when an opportunity knocks on their door people don't respond to their to the opportunity they respond to their fears so when they say i cannot sell it is not the truth they are looking at their fears and immediately come to conclusion oh i cannot sell okay because they've not tried it I am a living example of that. I used to say, I cannot do business. I can only work under someone. Trust me, I used to say that a lot. I used to tell myself, I cannot do all this admin work. I cannot um, employ people. I cannot um, you know, hire people and manage those things. I can only see patients, okay? And for so long, I've been an employee until one day I realized this is just not me. And I have to venture out of my comfort zone. And let me tell you one thing, that one platform that helped me realize my potential of selling and being a business owner is carousel selling my pre-loved clothing on carousel that helped me open up my mind and i realized wow i'm actually good at this i can i can be great at selling and then slowly you know so self-employed can be anything you can be selling anything okay and uh, self-employed my husband will speak about this about how some uh, business owners that means they uh, they are self-employed but the challenges that they face now from this quadrant to come to a business owner okay so self-employed okay 
Self-employed is a transition from the employee phase to a self-employed. Now, I'm going to give you an example of self-employed, which is me. I have my own clinic. I'm under the self-employed category. That means I need to come to work 9 to 5, 9 to 5, see my patients. Yes, I love my job. But as I get older in life, I need to shift my mindset to a business quadrant. Now, the self-employed is you doing all the work. You see, in the clinic, I handle my staff, I handle the paychecks, I handle the Procaso, KWSP, stock intake, stock count. Yes, they will do, do, do the work, they will give it to me, and then I will handle it because I'm a self-employed mindset. Now, in order to switch to the business mindset, you cannot bring that mindset of a self-employed to a business mindset because it's two different games. A business mindset is you're leading an organization. You're having people under you, you're, you're leading them to become better. That's what the business mind, mindset. You're delegating your work. You're leveraging your time. Now, I look at it in this way is in the MV business. Because in the MV business, we are building a group. And when we are building a group, we are not focusing only on us. Yes, we are building our self-development, our character, our knowledge in the business. But at the same time, we are transmitting this to our downlines, to our members of the group who are on the same page with us. So that's why a business, the 5% here is a business a group. The mindset has to be changed. You cannot use a self-employed mindset into a business environment. You will not go far. Now, the thing is you want to go to an investor's mindset. Now, this is what I tell people in my group. They said, you know, some of them who want to invest. They want to do, the, they want us to be the businessmen and they become the investors. And Amway doesn't work in that way. But Amway is a tool for you to be used to achieve your dreams as an investor. The money you make from Amway can be used to invest, invest in companies that you want to own, things that you want to do, charity programs that you want to give. So, what we will suggest is change your mindset from the 95% of the population to the 5% of the population. We all start with the employee because we all need a, a stable job to make the money from what to survive in your normal living. So, the other thing is about the time management. Eh? Time management. So, when you are in this quadrant, yes, your time is limited because you're working for your income. You're working for the money that you receive. Here, your time is 100%. Correct? Now, if I don't go to work as a self-employed, my patients, some of them will not come and see us. Though I can get a locum, but my time in order to see my quality patients is 100% I need to be here. Whereas here, your time is being multiplied because you know why you you're working with people and everybody has 24 hours a day but each of them is doing one hour a day and you got 100 plus doing one hour a day you have 100 hours time is already fixed 24 hours but everybody doing certain amount of hours put into a business you're multiplying your time and that's where you want to do leverage and then the employee and everything all your time is based 9 to 5, so your time is fixed. Some of you say, oh, no time, no time, no time. You have time. Change your mindset to a business mindset and you will succeed. Switch yourself. From employee, you also can go to business. That's what we are trying to put our group into. From employee, go to business. Because in the MBA business, everything is done by MBA. Yours, the company runs the show. you got no inventory. You got no staff payroll to pay for. You got no uh, monthly accounts to deal. Everything the company does for you. The only thing you need to do is join the business, listen to your uplines, know the marketing plan, and follow the three S and M: selling, sponsoring, servicing, and meetings. And with that, you can be the five percent of the world population, building a successful business. Aspire to inspire.